Andy, it's our biggest win of the season as we beat Connors Key Nomads 4-0 in the last 16 of the Adran Trophy. You must be chuffed. Well, the most pleasing thing for me actually is the clean sheet, believe it or not, because we've been working on our defending, we've been working on our shapes, how to win the ball back, where to win the ball back and how to be more effective with uh, the qualities that we've got as a side. So I'm pleased with that. I'm also very, very pleased with the performance. And we often say, you know, if you do your jobs properly, if you're competitive and you play to your level, then the result takes care of itself. And I think uh, that is true today, you know. Uh, Connor's key came, they came with a game plan, uh, they made it really, really difficult, both halves, uh, despite their injuries, they made it really, really difficult for us and we had to work hard to win the game and fair play to the players, they've done that, they've worked hard and they've got what they deserved. And breaking down the game, two excellent goals in the first half, first of all, Lexi Harrison from the spot after Ridge got brought down. Yeah, Ridgie's done ever so well. You know, she's smart. She gets ahead of the defender there. She's unfortunate that she's been brought down, but Lexi's dispatched that one. Uh, again, you, you know, we talk about players, we talk about mentality, and you've got to look at that. The fact that she keeps coming back and taking penalties despite having missed two, I think is uh, really, really credit to her. But we went in at half time. Um, wanting more from the players, we thought that we could have been better, we should have been better, we weren't clinical enough at times, we were a little bit passive in our defending at times, and we corrected that second half, and I thought second half performance was excellent. Clack today got on the score sheet once more. Well, we've been talking to Lucy recently, done a little bit of one-to-one -one analysis with her about you know runs, movement, areas where she needs to get into to be scoring more goals. You know, she's disappointed. I think we're disappointed that she's not scored enough, and she scored uh, in in the last two games now. But you know, ultimately, that's not enough, and she knows that she's got to keep producing more and more and more. And in the second forty-five, we won it again to you know first of all Caitlin Chapman with a wonderful goal in the box, um, which found the the bottom, well, the keeper's bottom right hand corner, and followed up by a C celebration there. Yeah. Um, she loved that. Well, I think, you know, all the goals have been good goals. The, the penalty was well dispatched. The, the other goal in the first half was an excellent move. Some really good combination play in and around the box. The third goal, as you say, you know, we've managed to isolate Caitlin there. She's managed to uh, find the net. And then the fourth one, you know, it was a good move leading up to the ricochet. Georgia has done really, really well there, following the ball through, finds herself one-on-one -on -one in the keeper, and she's composed and calm enough just to find the bottom corner. So, you know, uh, happy with the quality of the goals that we've scored, disappointed with the chances that we didn't and the opportunities that we've missed. And I think as we get to phase two, that's something that we've got to tidy up on because, uh, you know, we may not get as many chances in a single game and one chance or two chance might really be the difference. So we'll be looking to, to be more clinical in future. You talked about the clean sheet at the start. In every game we've won this season, we've kept the clean sheet. It's a very important part of the game. Well, it is. You know, I think the statistics will bear out that the team that scores the first goal, um, you know, it gives them the confidence and gives them the front foot belief that they can go on to win the game. So the team that scores the first goal often wins the game and more often doesn't lose the game. So we know that that's really, really important. And we've conceded some really, really sloppy goals this season. We're talking to the players about being decisive, working faster, thinking faster, making quicker decisions, and moving the ball out of dangerous areas quicker. And, um, you know, Connors Key had some chances today. The goalkeeper's done brilliantly to keep the ball out the back of the net. But we're happy uh, overall that we're tidying up our game and we're showing progress. How much of a statement does today make to the other bottom three that we'll be with? in phase two of Janeiro Adam Premier? Well, I think you'll have to ask them that. You, you know, the bottom line is, is coaching staff. We want more, we want better. You know, Connors Key were unlucky today with a couple of injuries, the goalkeepers got injured, etc. So I don't think you can read too much in, into that. If we look at the performance and we look at the underlying metrics, we're really pleased with, uh, you know, the opportunities, the shots, the goals that we've scored today, the clean sheet, etc. And the, the defending for sure. So. Uh, I'm not sure it'll have too much of a bearing. What it does is it gives us the sense of belief that what we're working on and what we know are the qualities of this team are good enough to stay in this league. The fact of the matter is, you know, we can talk all day and all night about that here. If the players don't deliver and the players don't start to get three points, we're going to be in a dogfight. So at the, the end of the day, it's down to them. They've got to come and deliver. Today's result gives us a great opportunity to go on a good run in this competition as well.
Well, it does, and we said that, you know, obviously it gives us another game before the Adjan Premier starts again in the new year. That was important for us because we don't want to go into that uh, cold and, and stale, if you like. We want to be on the front foot and sort of like uh, embedding our principles of play. So, yeah, I mean, we'll see what the draw brings. You, you know, I'm not too fussed about a run in the cup. I'm just more interested in a run of games to work with this team and coach this team and get them well drilled. Finally, finally how happy have you been uh, with this calendar year as a whole? Uh, well, I'm not very happy at all, to be honest. We're bottom of the league. We, we would like more. Uh, the standards are improving. We keep driving the players every single week to get better and better. And I think they showed that today. So in terms of where we've come from and where we are today, I'm extremely happy. The dedication, the commitment, the effort of the players, the quality of performances improves week on week on week. And we've just got to keep driving that. Obviously, we've spoken about today, we could have been a little bit more clinical. And the players need to learn that as we move forward into uh, the second phase. You know, we're not going to be resting on our laurels. We're going to be driving forward and we want to show more and more of everything that we've got. The thing that I'm most pleased with is that this team are gelling well. They're embedding the principles of play. We're developing our style, if you like. And again, I think that showed today and we've got to embed that as we move into the new year uh, to get more performances of this quality and more results. If we can do that, then I'll be happy. Well done today, Andy, and have a great Christmas and a deserved break. And thank you too. We thank you for all of the effort that you've done as well. We wish you, all of the staff, all of the, uh, the supporters and, and families a really happy Christmas and a great New Year.